hey there, Dee. How's it going? I just wanted to ask if you were really thinking about coming to my wedding? Were you really planning on showing up there? I mean, are you really going to show your face there? Hello there, Tanya. Yes, I was planning on being at your wedding, actually. I mean, it is also my brother's wedding, you know. <laughs> oh man, so you're actually going to come to the wedding then? Oh man, I thought it was a joke when I first heard it, but the reality is even more funny. <laughs> Ugh, I mean, to be honest, I didn't even want to have a wedding in the first place, but I guess we have to have one to appease the family, right? You really don't want to have a wedding? I know for a fact that my brother and so much of my family are really looking forward to getting to be there. I mean, I really don't think you should be talking about your own wedding like that, don't you think? Oh, so now you have a problem with what I have to say about my own wedding? Well, excuse me for having an opinion. I should have checked if it was okay with you first. No, no, you're right. That was out of line for me to say, and it is your wedding. You're entitled to feel however you'd like about it. Well, it doesn't help that the only reason I'm even marrying Henry is because our parents basically decided it for us. Something about someone in your family being an important business partner with my family or something like that. Ugh, I seriously hate politics. And the worst thing of all was that my parents knew that I had someone else that I liked, but they insisted that Henry and I get married for the good of our families. Can you believe that? Wait a second. So you don't even love my brother? Is that really what you're saying right now? Well, I'll say that I love him if your parents are there or something, of course. I'm not going to blow this whole thing up just because I don't like it. But you should probably just forget that I said anything about all that to you. And if I find out that you told anyone, there will be consequences for you. Not just for you, but I'll make sure that our family's business ties come to an end right there. Well, of course I would never tell anyone what you just told me. That was a pretty personal thing you said, and it isn't exactly my business. That's right. It is none of your business. Although, I have to say that you're pretty sharp despite only graduating high school. So I suppose since you've been smart enough to know to let what I said pass by without telling anyone, I'll let you come to my wedding and won't raise a fuss about it. But you know, normally I would never want an awkward little weirdo like you at an event like my wedding, so I suppose you'll just have to make sure to bring a couple of presents to apologize for your presence. <laughs> Sorry, you want me to bring you an extra wedding present just for showing up? A am I understanding that right? Oh, it's nothing that serious. I just want you to sing me a little song at the reception after the wedding. I mean, I was going to sing something for the wedding party anyways. But I want you to follow me after I sing my song and do one yourself. If you can do that for me, then I really won't have any problem with you being at my wedding. You really want me to sing at your wedding? Well, I guess I could do that, but just one song, okay? Wait, what? You're really going to go through with it? An awkward little nobody like you is going to sing for my whole wedding party? Are you serious? <laughs> oh man, that's great. It'll be a hilarious show that'll be sure to get the whole wedding laughing out loud. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be so awesome. And you agreed so much faster than I thought you would. Oh, I did? Well, I'm glad that you're looking forward to this at least. Of course I'm looking forward to this. I mean, what could you even possibly be thinking of singing? Just know that if you don't sing the song well, that I won't let it count and you'll have to start all over again. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'll see you at the wedding tomorrow. Can't wait to hear what you have in mind. <laughs> Hey there, Dee. I just wanted to let you know that I finished talking with the venue, and they said that they were willing to make the last minute changes to get everything ready for you. They sent me a few photos of what they got set up, and it all looks good to me, so I guess that we're all set for everything. Thank you so much for taking care of all that, Henry. I really do appreciate it. But you didn't have to ask them to set up a whole performance space just for me. I just hope that it wasn't too much trouble for you or them to get all that ready for me. Oh, come on. You really think we're going to have you perform at our wedding and not at least give you a workable stage to perform on? I bet half the wedding party is as excited to see you as they are to actually see the wedding you're going to be singing at. Oh, come on. Don't say that. I'm sure that most people haven't even realized that I'm going to be performing there yet. I know, but to be honest, it's always been a dream of mine to do this. 
You remember the promise that we made to each other when we were little? Well, now it's finally going to be coming true. And I really do just want to thank you one more time. I mean, I know that you and Tanya really haven't gotten along all that well since we got together in middle school. Oh, come on. That was already more than 10 years ago. Do you really think I care at all about what we were like when we were kids? Of course I remember her making fun of me and saying that I sounded weird all the time, but now, looking back on it, they almost sound like compliments. Although I suppose I did make for quite a few funny rumors about you and I in middle school, remember? Well, I can't really blame kids that age for not knowing more about opera singing, or how to appreciate it really. But anyways, I just always felt bad that you got picked on so much, and there was so little I could do about it. It isn't like that at all, Henry. You and Mom have always cheered me on at home and pushed me to take my voice to new heights. I'm fulfilling the promise that we made in middle school. Then I just want you to know that I couldn't get to where I am now without you. Dee, I really don't know what to say to that, but thank you so much. That really does mean a lot to have you say that. And I know that Mom and Dad are really looking forward to seeing you sing at the wedding. We all are, really. I'm so happy that you agreed to go along with this. Of course, and I'm really happy to have so much support from friends and family regarding this. Anyways, I'll keep warming up and I guess I'll see you tomorrow for your big day. <coughs> hey, Tanya, are you there? I just had a little question about what was going on here. Ugh, what do you want? I seriously don't have time to talk to you right now. Don't you know that I'm in the middle of getting changed at the moment? Sorry, you're busy changing right now? Because I think I heard you were busy doing something else. Oh, oops. <laughs> Did you manage to find out my little secret? I really thought I was being more careful about it. <laughs> but I don't understand. Who was that man that I saw you with? I mean, I just stepped out to try and find where you went so that I could ask you my question. And then what? You saw him and I making out in the hall, didn't you? I think it's kind of romantic, to be honest. But what else is love and romance if not thrilling and scandalous? I think there's lots of romances that have very little scandal to them. I mean, how could you even try to justify this right now? And who was that guy? You still haven't told me. He was dressed up in a suit, so is he one of the wedding guests or something like that? You really think that I'm going to tell you who that man was I was kissing? Oh, come on. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. Why don't you go and do some sleuthing instead? But good luck finding him at a wedding like this. There's more than 100 guests here. You'll never be able to hunt him down. Tanya, I really think that you're being ridiculous right now. I mean, how do you think my brother would feel if he found out you were doing this behind his back? And just what makes you think that I would care at all about how it makes your poor brother feel, huh? He's just a boring old stiff who can't seem to get the stick out of his butt. Besides, are you really going to pretend like it's weird not to have a couple other men on the side? Are you kidding me? You mean that man isn't the only other one that you're seeing right now? I'm sorry, Tanya, but I don't think that I can keep quiet about this. If you have issues with my brother, that's one thing. But this is just cheating. Don't you see that? <laughs> what? You really think that you can do anything to stop me from doing or being with whoever I want? Oh man, that is so funny. It's almost sad. Or maybe it's really so sad that it's funny. <laughs> Either way, what is some ugly little nobody like you going to do to me on my wedding day surrounded by my friends and family? Well, I think that I'm going to go find my parents and find my brother and tell them what you've told me. And do you really think that any of them are going to believe what you have to say about me? You really think they're going to take your word over mine? You wish that's how it would work, but you better not even try. If I find out that you do anything to try and ruin this wedding, then I'm going to ruin your entire family. I am going to make it so that your great grandkids can't even find a job in this town. Do you understand me? Because if you do, then I really think you want to reconsider running your mouth. I think you just need to take a breath and not think about this so emotionally. How about you just keep your little mouth shut? After all, you were good at keeping quiet and hiding in a corner in school, remember? <laughs> Anyways, I have to get ready for the main event, so if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to changing now. <coughs> <laughs> 
So what do you think? It was pretty amazing, huh? I bet you're just shocked, aren't you? Of course, I knew that I would do amazing. I took a couple of chorus classes in high school and learned then that my voice is just perfect. But good luck following up an act like mine. I mean, I have no idea how I would feel having to follow up a basically pro-level performance from someone of my caliber, but don't worry, I promise that I'm really, really looking forward to hearing you. <laughs> oh yes, Tanya, I think you did a great job. You really are a good singer and that was a great performance. <laughs> well, I don't need someone like you to tell me that, but I bet that you're really, really nervous now that it's your turn to sing, aren't you? But I guess at least now you might be able to feel even a little bit how I felt, isn't that right? I'm sorry, what are you talking about with that? I I'm not quite sure what you mean about that. Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking about. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it's been having you be the sister of the man I'm going to marry? The fact that we're going to be literal family makes me just want to die. I get so embarrassed just thinking about it. It's the one ugly little blemish on the otherwise perfect and pristine record that's my life. You seriously just ruin everything that you touch, did you know that? Do I really make you that embarrassed to be around me? I had no idea you felt so strongly about the whole thing. Well, it's just not fair. Why do I have to be stuck in a family with a failure like you? I just wish I didn't have to deal with you, but at least having you around means I can make you do stuff like this. Now it's your turn to go and sing, so hurry up and get on the stage. Well, okay, I'll get on the stage and sing, but I think that you're going to be in for a big surprise. What in the world are you talking about? The only thing that I'm in for is the cringiest thing in the world that's about to unfold before my eyes. Now hurry up and take the stage. We're all waiting to watch you fail. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be so funny. <laughs> Hey, what the heck is the matter with you, huh? What the heck was that? You better start explaining yourself right now. I'm serious. I'm sorry, but I'm not quite sure what you mean, Tanya. All I did was get up on stage and sing like you asked me to. But I don't understand. It was like you became a completely different person the moment you stood up on the stage. You completely blew my performance out of the water. You made me look like a complete fool in front of everyone. How dare you do something like this to me on my wedding day? You completely ruined everything. I'm really sorry for any kind of confusion, but you were the one who asked me to perform for you, remember? Besides, I said you were a great singer and all, right? I only said that because I would know since I'm a professional and all. But I really did mean what I said. You really have some potential if you train yourself a bit more. That's not what I'm talking about. What I want to know is why in the world a weird little nobody who didn't even go to college can sing better than I can. Oh, I see. Well, if you really must know, I sing opera for a living. That's my job. I mean, I guess I understand why you didn't know that, though. Of course, I can only really work when there's a show in town. So when the opera season dies down, I typically just go and find some work through a temp agency to pass the time. But, I mean... I don't get it. You didn't go to college, you only finished high school, and yet you can sing so well. Well, yeah, you're right. I did only finish high school here, and after I graduated, I actually went to Europe for a few years. I was there to study under an opera singer, and I kind of became her understudy. So you went to Europe to be an understudy for a real professional opera singer? But here I thought you were just some kind of shut-in weirdo who didn't have any friends. Well, I think you were really the only one who's ever thought that of me. Of course, training for opera takes a lot of time and concentration, so I guess you took the time that I was focusing on myself as proof that I was some kind of recluse. Maybe that's why you're not a professional singer like me, even though it's clear that you fancy yourself a singer. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like that? Just who do you think you are talking to me as if you're better than me? Sorry, I'm really not trying to. I'm only being honest with you. But surely you've heard this from other friends too, right? I mean, I imagine that someone must have asked you if you were sure about singing before me. Even in the crowd of the wedding, I realized that I could recognize a few faces from old shows that I'd done. This was all part of your plan then, wasn't it? You set this all up just so that you could try and embarrass me in front of everyone, didn't you? How could you be so cruel? I really don't think that you can say that any of this was my fault at all. In fact, the only reason people laughed at you is probably because of how red your face got and how you stood up all of a sudden. 
Shut up. That's not it at all. You have no idea what you're talking about. You don't get to talk to me like this. You need to apologize to me right now for what you've done. Actually, as you can see, your wedding party is asking me for an encore. And the one thing you learn about being in my business is that the show must go on. But I do really, really appreciate you warming them all up for me. Thanks for that, Tanya. Yeah, don't you just send that and walk back to the stage. I can see you getting ready to perform again. Are you even reading these anymore? Answer me right now. I am serious. <laughs> Henry, are you there? I have to talk to you about something really important right now. It is really, really important. Oh, hey, Tanya. What's the matter? I'm actually in the middle of getting changed and ready to head out. I don't care about that. You and I have something much more serious to be discussing right now. I mean, didn't you see what your sister did to me? She completely humiliated me. She showed me up on my own wedding and made me look like a complete idiot. Oh, do you really think so? That's really not how I read what was happening at all. Of course that's what she was doing. I was having so much fun getting to sing in front of all my friends and then she completely ruined it. She's just completely blown me out of the water. She was good and it made me look like a total idiot. I can't believe that she would look down at me like that on my own wedding. I'm sorry, but weren't you the one who asked Dee to sing at your wedding in the first place? Not only that, but you were the one who made it so that she would sing right after you, right? Well, yeah, I did do all that, but I had no idea that she was a real professional opera singer. Nobody ever told me anything like that. Why didn't anyone tell me that she was that good? Why didn't Dee herself say anything to me about it? Ugh, she really is just the absolute worst. You think that my sister is that bad? I really don't think that you should be saying anything, given all you've done. What do you mean by that? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm trying to say that you asked my sister to sing after you did, because you wanted to insult and embarrass her in front of everyone at your wedding, didn't you? Because I really doubt that you would have asked her to sing right after you did, if you knew that my sister was a professional. Henry, what are you talking about? You don't really think that I was trying to sabotage your sister or anything like that, do you? You know that I would never ever think of doing something like that, right? Well, I'm afraid that's exactly what I think you are doing. I mean, I know that you know that Dee has always hated being made to sing in front of her friends. You know that in school she was always made fun of for her voice, and that's why she hardly ever spoke back then. But then I don't get it. How did someone like her get so good at singing if she hardly ever spoke when we were in school together? It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Well, I only said that Dee wasn't good at singing in front of friends or people that she knew. But she practiced and practiced, and even today she still doesn't like singing in front of family and friends. So I was actually really happy to hear that she agreed to sing at our wedding because she promised me when we were little that she would only do it this one time for me. But I don't get what this has to do at all with me and her. You're still not making any sense at all. Oh, there's a connection to you there. Don't worry. After all, I know it was you who knew Dee's feeling about singing in a place like this and made her do it. Made her do it? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything, and I didn't know she was a pro singer either. You never told me any of this. But why didn't you tell me about what your sister did for a living? I mean, we're about to be getting married. How could you do this? Well, I actually wanted it to be a surprise. That's why I never said anything. That's why I was so surprised when she had already agreed to sing at our wedding because you asked her. But I know that I'm not the only one that was hiding things. You have your own secrets too, don't you? What? Where did you get that? I've never seen that photo before in my life. Wait, no, Henry, please. You don't understand. There's been a huge mistake here, I swear. A mistake? Just what mistake might that be? What are you even going to say for yourself right now? How could you do this to me on the day that we're supposed to be getting married? Well, I just... I mean... It all just happened so fast, and I had no idea what I had done by the time it was over. You really need to come up with a better excuse for yourself when you two were kissing long enough for my sister to sneak a picture. 
but I know that you tried to shut her up to prevent her from letting me know. I know that you've hated my sister for years and years and years now. Of course I don't hate her. Please, Henry, this is all just one big mistake. I swear that you have this whole thing wrong right now. Oh, please. It was your plan this whole time to try and embarrass Dee in front of everyone at your wedding. You really are the worst, though, but I'm mad at myself, too, for letting you get away with it all this time. Well, I'm not gonna let you get away with this anymore. I want a divorce, and I am going to be suing you for marriage fraud. Wait, what? You mean you're going to try and make me pay money just for kissing some other guy? You can't be serious about this. Henry, be reasonable. Of course I'm going to sue you. And I'm being very reasonable. After all, I have a legal right to sue a cheating wife. But I guess you thought that you would just never ever be caught doing anything. Well, you're the one who's going to be throwing all of me away just because of one lousy little kiss. But fine then, see if I care. I'll divorce you and go be with my other man. But you should know that I'm not going to be paying a single cent. No court would ever force someone as pretty as me to pay a loser like you. You really have no idea how the real world works at all, do you? Do you really think that you're going to get away with what you've done? <laughs> you sound like such a sore loser. Do you know that, Henry? Don't you know that all I have to do is go crying to my parents about how mean you are and I'll make them stop doing any business with your family? You can't do anything to me when I have this much power over you. Besides, the only people you'd be hurting would be your parents. Don't you get it? And just what makes you so certain that that's how things are going to work out if you go and talk to your parents about this? Oh, come on. My parents' company is huge and successful and makes a ton of money. Your family's company probably isn't even worth half of what mine is. And that's why it doesn't matter what you do or how you feel. I'll always be able to get away with whatever I want and nothing is ever going to stop that. I'm afraid that, once again, you are talking about things that you have no idea about, Tanya. For example, you have it backwards. It's my family's company that's more than twice the size of your family's company. So you're going to have to find a new excuse to try and get away with doing whatever you want. Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. Is your family's company really worth that much more than my family's company? That's right. So, the only thing going to your parents about this would do is make them upset. After all, you hurt my sister, cheated on me, and have really upset my parents with all of this. Everyone here knows that all of this is all your fault. And you should know now that I am not in a forgiving mood at all. In fact, I just don't think that I can have my family do business with yours after all that you've done. Hey, Henry, are you there? You better pick up the phone right now. I am serious. Please, you have to pick up the phone and explain to my mom that all of this is just a silly misunderstanding. I'm begging you here. Oh, don't worry. Your parents are already here in front of my family, bowing their heads and begging for forgiveness. But then, is it really true that my family's company was relying on contracts from your family's company in order to survive? Because that doesn't make any sense at all. Wow. You really just don't know anything about your family's business, do you? Sure, the company has been around for a while, but that doesn't mean that it's had some perfect record of management. And starting a few decades back, your family's company's growth began to slow, and prices began to drop until my family's company hired them for their services. Anyways, you should know that we've caught the guy that my sister caught you making out with in the hallway. That's right, it's him. It's all his fault. He's the reason why this wedding fell apart, and I bet that your sister invited him here to sabotage the whole thing. Oh really? Because he's saying that you invited him, but that you two weren't anything serious. Although, reading through the messages you've been sending to him, I really don't think that you felt like it wasn't serious. Ugh, what is his problem? Why would he just blab right away like that? Well anyways, now that I have all this evidence against you, you should know that there's no way we're getting married now. But the question is, are you going to be an adult about this and accept responsibility for your actions? Please, Henry, can't we just talk in person? I'm sure that I could settle all of this if we could just talk a little. 
That isn't going to happen. I already know the kind of person that you are, and I want nothing to do with you. Please, Henry, you have to forgive me. I really am so, so, so sorry about this. I'm just, I'm so lost, so confused. I don't give a damn what you have to say for yourself, or what excuse you come up with in the meantime. But you can't end your business with my family. We'll be left with nothing. How am I supposed to pay for the lawsuit without my parents' money? I mean, my parents said that they were going to disinherit me over this. I'll get nothing. I have nobody. Please don't do this. Nothing you say is going to change my mind. But if you want my advice, I suggest you go out and find a job. Please don't be like this, Henry. I am begging you here. I'm done with this conversation. We're just talking in circles, and I'm sick of it. Whatever you have to work out between your parents, just leave me out of it. I'll see you in court. In the end, Henry went through with his lawsuit against Tanya and the man she was having an affair with. They both ended up owing a huge amount in legal fees that they had to go into debt to afford. She begged her parents for help, but they only told her to pack her bags and never come back. She tried finding a job, but her poor record meant that no one was going to hire her. Her whole life plan was centered around riding on my brother's coattails. I have no idea where she is or what she's doing. Having seen that they punished their daughter, however, he kept his contracts with Tanya's parents. Henry came to me months later asking if we couldn't renew our promise of me singing at his wedding because of all that had happened last time. I told him I'd think about it.